Hey everyone, j Lights here, and Zippo collecting and buying a Zippo can be expensive. It can be intimidating. Some Zippos can cost around $10, and some Zippos can cost up to $200 and beyond. In this video, I'm going to break it down on what you can expect to get with your money when buying a Zippo, the different types of designs, the styles. So stick around. This is j Lights. Now let's talk about the cheapest lighter. Now when I say cheap, I'm talking about price alone. The functionality of a $10 brush chrome versus a $100 lighter is going to be the same. The insert's the same. For the most part, the case is the same, unless it's an armor, we'll talk about that. When it comes to the quality of a Zippo, it's the same. When you get into the designs, the different finishes, that's where the price starts to vary. For the purposes of this video, I'm sticking with the eBay prices, Amazon prices, the retail prices. So I'm not going to get into the different designs of brands like Camel, Marlboro, the limited editions. All those can run you a little bit higher. When I'm talking about prices, I'm not focusing on those. I'm focusing on what the individual going to a shop or looking on eBay can expect to spend on just an average Zippo. I also throw some, some vintage numbers in there as well. For the most part, when you walk in to a store just to getting a basic Zippo, this is what you're going to get. This is a brushed chrome. These are going to run you about 10 to $15. Here's a street chrome and then a diagonal chrome, 10 to $15. But what I think is a great bang for your buck are these blister packs. These blister packs are available in Walmart or other retailers. Sometimes they have some really neat design, uh, basic designs, but they're pretty cool. So here's that basic Flame design, got this at Walmart for about 15 bucks. You can tell the sticker, it's a sticker Zippo. It's just, it's kind of cheaply put on there, it's cheaply made, but this would make a perfect everyday carry. If you're just walking into Walmart, you see a Zippo and you want to use it, this is what you should go with, is just a basic Zippo. You can tell, so here's a Zippo, about a $30 Zippo. All it is is a sticker but you can tell the quality of the sticker. There's texture to this design. It shines a little better. All it is is a brush chrome. The functionality, the insert is the same as this $15 lighter. Now you can, with these blister packs, you can tell that they might be a little bit more rushed than your average uh, sticker or your lighter. You can see it's very offset this sticker is compared to this one. Even this one's not very centered, but this one's definitely not centered at all. Now, as far as those 10 to $15 Zippos for vintage collectors, if you're just looking for a basic vintage Zippo that's in lightly used condition, expect it to be about 15, 10 to $15. These are just some vintage Zippos in somewhat used condition. These are running about 10 to $15. Vintage advertisement, it's if it's an advertisement for about $10 to $15, it's either a really, really great deal or it's in very poor condition. Now, after $15, you're probably going to start getting into the different types of finishes or vintage look. Here's a vintage look. It would probably be about $20 lighter. You have your black mat. You have your 1941 replica. I love this. Have the four barrel hinge. You have a seven hole insert. Probably run you about $20, $25 on that 1941 replica. Then you have the different finishes. This is a cerulean finish, neon orange fin matte finish. So finishes like that will probably run you about $20 to $25. Between that $20 and $30 range, it's going to be your basic stickers. You have your, this is a black mat with a flame sticker. Here's another black mat with a flame sticker. This is a street brass with a flame sticker. They are generally going to be between that $20 and $30 range. Now 
just to give you an idea. I mean, the, a lot of collectors just don't like the stickers, you know, just because the functionality of the Zippo is the same from this $30 lighter from this $15 lighter. And all it is is a sticker. Stickers like this one here, like the Sand Stokes, it's a really neat design. Even though it is a sticker, it's a neat design. So that's that's where those price points kind of fit in. Now, once you start getting into that $30 range of Zippos, you're really looking at more wide variety. You're looking at your 360 designs. These are running about $30 to $50. You'll start, uh, there's a lot of early 2000 designs you'll find in this range too. A lot of those plate designs, a lot of the plate designs are between that $30 and $50 range. Here's a Zip Guard. This is a 2000 and it's between that $30 and $50 range. The woodchucks. These are new releases, new designs. I love these woodchucks. They just, they look great. Here's some more plate designs. City Celebration, early 2000. A brass plate design. Uh, and right now, the big craze are 540s. 540s are running between usually about $30 to $40. Depending on the designs or if they're glow in the dark, they may run you a little bit over $40, but not by much. But these 540s are an excellent uh, investment, especially if you want to use them as a, a EDC. The durability on these 540s are really spectacular. I've seen a lot of people using these 540s as their EDC, and they hold up great. The designs, they don't brush off like they do those stickers that we were just talking about. So here are just some examples and designs of 540s. So between that $30 and $40 range, I think this is kind of what you can expect from those early 2000 plate designs to uh, your woodchucks to your 540s. As far as vintage goes, between that $30 and $50 range, you're starting to get into kind of your basic advertisers. Slightly used most of the time. You know, little scratches on this one. Another basic advertiser. Like I said, generally between that $30 and $50 range. And also for the advertisers, it really depends on that, uh, on the brand too. There could be a really sought after brand and it may not be in that great condition and it's going to run you a lot more now, once you get over $50, you're really getting into those armor designs. Here's a chameleon, the multi engraving. Here's another multi cut armored, about a $50. Expect to spend on, on lighters of that caliber. Now, once you start getting into those 360 multi engravings, that's when you're going to start spending money. It's these multi 360 armors, multi cut engravings those are a hundred plus zippo has a good variety of them on on zippo.com and those are your gold plated ones your anti uh, antique copper your brass really thick really neat looking multi engravings they'll run you between 100 and 175 dollars now once you start getting into the uh, the sterling silver and the gold. Yeah, then you're talking really big bucks. But for this video's sake, your multi, uh, your 360 multi-cut engraving armors, that's going to be your high-priced items when it comes to purchasing Zippos, those luxury designs. Now, when it comes to vintage, once you get in that $50, $75 range, you'll start seeing vintage advertisers that are in a little better condition. If they have the box, they may be a little closer to that $100 range. Uh, depending on the design, depending on the brand, these types of vintage in the box probably go about $100, $150, depending on the market, depending on what brand it is. Now with vintage, the sky's the limits. As deep as your pockets are willing to go because of, once you start getting into the candy red stripe boxes, the iconic brands like Cadillac, that's when you're talking about the big bucks. $200 plus dollars easy on lighters that come in those candy red stripe box, depending on the advertiser. 
if it's an iconic brand, you're talking 300, 400 plus dollars uh, that you would be spending on lighters such as this. Once again, it all depends on the market, all depends on what the, that buyer's willing to pay. But at the end of the day, it's what you're looking for as a collector. You may not be looking for $400, $500 lighters. You may not even be looking for $7,500 lighters. These luxury multi-grave, they may be not what you're looking for either. These armors, maybe not what you're looking for. Maybe you just want a Zippo to get started with. This was my first Zippo. Got it in 2009, the year I started collecting. Walked into Walmart shortly after. Found this for $10. Picked it up, never opened it. Walked in the mall one day and saw this probably for about, I think it was like $25, $27. Bought this and carried it around with me for a while. It's 2009. My third Zippo. This was my fourth Zippo. Paid Paid a good price for this one at the time, about $35. Just wanted something a little bit more heavier, a little bit more grip. 2009, and kind of after that, all went downhill from there. So no matter what you're looking for, remember, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality, what you enjoy doing, what you enjoy collecting. You don't have to go after these high-priced, vintages. You don't have to go after these high-priced multi-engraved lighters. Stick what you enjoy doing, even if it is collecting those basic chromes. Remember, there are 600 million different Zippos out there. Let me know in the comments what you think. This is j Lights. We'll see you on the next one.